Hello, hello, hello. Welcome back, ladies and gentlemen. How you doing? How you doing? Good evening. Can you hear me? Hey, how are you? Mm, I'm very busy, but I'm here. Well, you sound good. You sound better than last week. I know last week you were sick. You sound good today. Do you feel better? Is with me? Yes, of course. Can can you repeat, please? I said, uh, you sound good. Oh yes, I feel good. I feel pretty good. <laughs> I remember. I remember last week. We were feeling sick. Oh, yes. Yes. By the way, in this moment, I feel pretty good. Thanks for well, letting me know. Well, you sound good. <laughs> yes, <laughs> I feel. I feel good. Da, 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 da. You are pretty good, man. Do, 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 do. <laughs> so good. Uh, so uh, good. Uh, I'm uh, feeling good. <laughs> uh, uh, da, da. <laughs> it's All day right. to to sound. <laughs> yeah, that's good. That's good. Uh, teacher, well, teacher, yes. teacher. Hey, go down, Eugenio. Yes, I feel good for me. Woo! Oh, wow. Protein. Yes, wow. I feel good for me. That's so nice. Happy birthday, Eugenio. Woo! Congratulations. 10 pounds. 10 pounds. 10 pounds. That's a, that's a, that's a lot of muscle. <laughs> exactly. And did you buy it in El Salvador or did somebody bring it to you from the United States? From the United States. Ooh. Oh, nice, nice. And what flavor is it? Chocolate or vanilla? Chocolate is my favorite. Chocolate. Wow. Yes. Okay. That's good. That's good. That's for the diet. This body, this body needs more. <laughs> so perfect, much more. Perfect, perfect body. Competition <laughs> body. <laughs> what? Perfect body, competition body. <laughs> Perfect body needs many love. <laughs> that's right. That's right. That is correct. Excellent. A lot of love. A lot of love. All right. Good job. Good job, guys. I'm happy to see you. I see that everybody has good energy today. I like that. I like that. I saw that yesterday. Guys, we're a little tired. Are you feeling good today? Yes, of course. All right. Let's what go about here. your headphones? Hey, I don't know. I don't know what happened to my headphones. They're not working. Anyway. <laughs> yeah, I, I, couldn't, I couldn't. I don't know if New it's... Headphones. Uh, I don't know if it's the headphones or if it's the software, I don't know what it is, but I don't need it. <laughs> okay. I don't need it. Can you, can you hear me? Can you hear me? Of, of course. Okay. So Very yeah. clear. All right. So I don't need it. I don't need it. I'm good. I'm good. <laughs> All right, guys, let's go ahead and get started. I would like for us to go ahead and look at the first activity for today's class. Um, who can tell me what information you remember from the previous class? Who can tell me what information do you remember from the previous class? I remember use the exercise past, present, and future tenses. Excellent. Past, present, and future tenses. Very good, Brenda. Uh, can you give me an example? Uh, 
Uh, for example, I will be doctor. <laughs> I in, be doctor. in five years ago, I... Before you watch our video, we want you to write on our discussion box expressions that you already know. With... Sorry, go ahead. For example, you can say, when I was a child, what? Or... When I was a child, I'm playing video games in machines. Yes. Okay. Did you remember when I you go our store machines are play football? Ah, correct. Uh -huh, uh -huh, uh -huh. Video games. All right. Good job, Brenda. Thank you. Uh, Vicente, can you tell me what <laughs> information do you remember about the previous class well uh <clears throat> at the end of the class we were talking about the dialogue between some people uh, we're talking about neighborhoods and the changes of the neighborhood okay uh can you give me some examples about some of the changes in the neighborhoods yeah for example they were talking about um the changes who has the street or uh, the constructions, uh, new business, um, old business disappear mm -hmm. or did it. <laughs> and uh, they were talking something about that. Okay. Uh, repeat after me. Construction. Constructions. Construction. Constructions. That's right. The U is like a A. Ah, construction. Constructions. Good, good, good. All right. Thank you. Thank you, Vicente. All right. Um, okay. Anybody else? Anybody else can tell me what information do you remember from the previous class? Anybody else? Okay. We're going to play the video. Uh, I would like for us to do a little review. We're going to play the video one more time, and then we're going to practice as a whole class. Which are used in Perfect. the past, present, and future. Time contrasts. Past. A few years ago, not many people lived here. Present. These days, the population is growing so fast. Future. Soon, there will be a lot of shopping malls. People used to shop at grocery stores. Today, people shop at supermarkets. In 20 years, people might buy groceries by computer. 50 years ago, people walked everywhere. Nowadays, people drive their cars instead. In the future, people are going to use cars even more. We noticed you wrote some time expressions related to past, present, and future. Well done. Now let's talk a bit about time contrast. This helps us to talk about perhaps a same situation that we have lived over the years and we want to make reference since it happened, taking it to our present and imagining it in a future. The trick here is for us to use the verbs properly in its right tense along with time expressions. Let's go over the chart. In the first column we talk about past and we use time expressions like a few years ago, or people used to, or 50 years ago, and our verbs are in past. We used lived and walked. Let's move on to the present, and here we use these days, today, or nowadays, and of course our verbs are is growing, shop, and drive, which are in the present. Last but not least, we have our future using expressions such as soon, in 20 years, in the future. Therefore, we use verbs in future will be, might buy, are going to use. Time contrast is easy to use, just double check on your verbs. Think about it as one sentence per tense. We will now give you more time expressions that you may use with each tense. Past expressions, at that time, in the past, then. Present expressions, currently, in the meantime, now. 
future expressions in the next couple of years next in the near future now we want you to write a short description about how has your life changed using the expressions below make sure you do it and present it to your teacher to make sure okay let me have one volunteer one volunteer For what? <laughs> what do we want to do? <laughs> I me, want you to... me, me. Okay. I want you to give me the example. Uh, for example, as a child, I used to. Five years ago, I. Nowadays, I. Next year, I'm going to. In five years, I'll. In 10 years, I might. One volunteer, one volunteer. Vicente. Ding, 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 ding. Yes, DJ. Okay, first <laughs> Vicente, then Maria, then Brenda. Okay. When I am, um, I was a child, I used to play with, um, with my cousin, and uh, with, uh, how do you say, uh, uh, chibola or? Marbles. Huh? Marbles. 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 Yeah. I'm going to write it. I'm going to write it over here. M okay, good. R-B-L-E-S. Marbles. Mar marbles. Marbles. Okay. That, will hap that happened when I was a child. <laughs> Okay. Right now, I I, I can't. <laughs> Why? Okay. Why not? Uh, because I don't have any marbles. <laughs> <laughs> okay. Okay. Five years ago, I I was um, I was working. Um, no, I was thinking to study English. Oh, okay. I was thinking about. You can say like thinking this. Thinking about. You can say, I uh, was thinking, thinking about studying studying English. English. Good, good. English. Uh huh. Okay. I was thinking about studying English. Okay, good. And nowadays, I study English to prepare for to prepare for my future. <laughs> yes, yes, good job. Or to be ready for future. Yes, yes. Okay. Next year, I'm going to think about my retirement. Oh, you're a young man. <laughs> Of course, of course. Yes. <laughs> old man, old, young man, old man. Young man, he's a young man. <laughs> okay. Be nice, Eugenio. Anyway. Be nice, Eugenio. <laughs> okay. In, um, in five years, I'll be um, in a new job with... Uh, Speaking in English. Using the 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 English, of course. Excellent. I hope so. Okay. In ten years, I might I might have a, a new car. <laughs> okay, you can say I might be driving a Mercedes Benz. <laughs> a hushpuck. Yeah. Mercedes hushpuck. Benz. BMW. Mercedes Benz. Yeah. Or BMW or uh, what do you say, Bentley? <laughs> wow, that's more expensive. Or, or, of course. That's more expensive. Okay, that's it. <laughs> okay, excellent, excellent, Vicente. The Thank next you very much. Is Maria. What? Good evening. Good evening. Okay. Okay. As a child, 
I used to play with my Barbie all day. And a few years ago, <laughs> five years ago, I was studying my career in the university. Um, now day I waiting for my graduation. And next year, I'm going to study a master in another country. Wow, Italy, <laughs> Spain. Yeah. France. France. In, in five years, I'll have my own business, like an agro service, maybe. Like a what? Like a what? Agro service. Agro service, agro services. What agro is that? servicio. Agro servicio. What is that? Agro Un agro servicio. It's a place where people from farm uh, buy every ev everything that need to cultivar. <laughs> oh, okay. Or, or okay. Insumo maybe... para ganado. Insumo oh, okay. para ganado. Nice. Uh -huh, right. Nice, intelligent girl. <laughs> and in 10 years, I I me. My sorry, I I might travel and see Greece. I don't know. Wow. It's just a dream. Yeah. Cool, cool. Sounds good. Sounds good. All right. Excellent. Maria, thank you so much. Now let me have Brenda. Brenda, your microphone is on silence. Can you hear me? Yes, now I can hear you. Uh, yes. Hello, hello. Go ahead. Yes. Okay. <laughs> um, uh, when I, as a child, I used to play soccer. In five years ago, I started my studies that I In couldn't five finish. Five years ago at... or five years ago? Five years ago, I uh, couldn't finish at a young age. Okay. Uh, nowadays, I study. I study English with my my favorite <laughs> Mister. Your favorite teacher, <laughs> Ruben Santo. Yes. <laughs> yes. In this moment. <laughs> Uh, in next year, I I think I I work in, for example, um, what is the call center? Oh, nice. Uh, or translator the, como trans traducir documents. Yes, translator uh, documents. Translator. In five years ago. In five years, I go. I will, can be, maybe, uh, to travel for around the world. Oh. In ten years, <laughs> in in I ten years I go. I my, um, I don't know. What the separate destiny? <laughs> okay, okay. All right. Excellent. Good job. Is that? Excellent. Thanks. All right. Uh, does anybody else want to participate? Somebody else? Claudia. Okay, Claudia. Okay. Um, as a child, I used to dream about becoming a dentist. Six years ago, I graduated from the university as a dental surgeon. Really? Nowadays, yes. Wow, interesting. <laughs> <laughs> Nowadays, I work as a dentist in a dental clinic. Okay. Next year, I'm going to keep looking for better job opportunities, mm -hmm. maybe out of the country. Okay. In five okay. years, I'll probably be uh, starting my specialty or, okay. or my master's degree. And in 10 years, I might be starting my own business. Wow, so. intelligent girl. Good job. <laughs> she is planning to all, all life. <laughs> she will fix my teeth. <laughs> yeah, <laughs> it's inevitable. Excellent. <laughs> That's uh, my yeah, job. <laughs> yeah, time 
Time will tell. <laughs> thank you, Claudia. Thank you for your participation. Okay, we're yeah. going to Juan Antonio and then Ada. Okay. Okay. Uh, good evening, everybody. Good evening. Uh, as a child, I live, I live, I live it, I live it, I live it, live it. I live. I live. Live. I live near the countryside and I climb trees. Okay. I have lived near the city for five years and I get on on the buses. Oh. Um, nowadays I walk to no sorry I walk a lot on occasions to board the bus and go to work. A lot of cardio. Um, cardio. Yeah. <laughs> Um, yeah, <laughs> in San Salvador, yeah, that's good. In the center, yeah, yeah. yeah that's good. downtown next year, downtown, in downtown, right? Downtown, right. in downtown. downtown. Next year, I will have to continue the same, I suppose. In four years, if I don't improve, 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 improve. myself, mm -hmm. improve myself personally. I will be the same. Okay. But in then years, I may no longer have these problems because my goal is to move forward, Excellent. learn more about English, and obtain a better income. Wow. And make a lot I of money. Yeah, more money. <laughs> <laughs> Excellent. I like that. I like Thanks. that. Money Thank is you. power. Power is money. Money is power. I love right. it. I love it. I love it. <laughs> of course. <laughs> Excellent. Juan. Okay. The teacher is inspired. <laughs> I am inspired. Yes, I feel very inspired. I like to listen to my students' experiences, my students' uh, alive, about my students' plans, you know, because I think that as humans, we share and we transmit energy, we transmit knowledge, you know, and when you are in a experiences. group, experiences, so when you are surrounded with people that have goals, that have motivation, that amplifies your goals and your motivation. So, but when you are surrounded with people that are losers, then obviously your energy is down. So for me, it's very important to, to be around people with goals, dreams, ambitions, desires. You know, life is good. Life is beautiful. So yeah, right. when you are with people that love life, they give you this energy, so obviously it, it amplifies your energy. Yeah, it's contagious. Ada! Hello, good evening. Good evening. How are you? Do you feel good? Do you feel better? How are you feeling today? I feel, I feel so good. You look good. You look good. I feel bad. Yeah, yesterday, the medicine you didn't is working. yesterday. Thank you. <laughs> Sorry. Yesterday, I, my look is sleep. Yeah, you look, you look tired yesterday. Today, you look good. <laughs> but I ready. All right. I like that. I like that. Let's do it. Let's do it. Fighting, fighting, Ella, fighting. <laughs> Okay, as a child, I used to go to the beach every day because that's clear. Okay. Five years ago, I was thinner. Thinner? Thinner? <laughs> <laughs> Uh, thinner, thinner, más delgada, thinner. Ah, thinner. No, I mean, no. 
Oh, well, you um, have to exercise, diet. You can do it. No, 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 nowadays. I nowadays. Nowadays. I am. I am training to be at my weight. Good, good. <laughs> you gotta do cardio, cardio, cardio. It warm up. Warm up, warm up. With Eugenio. Who, 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 who. <laughs> okay, I'm going to jump in English. Yes, of course. In five years, I will buy another car. Uh, yeah. <laughs> uh, Toyota Camry, Toyota Corolla. <laughs> I want to get better. <laughs> okay, okay, okay. A high look. What is your business, the bakery and uh, the Veronica? Yes, I, I have working. working. No, no, she but... said, what is your business as a bakery? <laughs> yeah. In 10 years, I might might the best in my life. That's good. That's the idea. You can do it. You can do it. Life is good. Good job. Good job, Ada. Congrats. Okay, guys. <laughs> I know that everybody wants to participate, but we have to continue. Let's go ahead and take a look at the first activity from today on the platform. We're going to continue uh, moving forward and we're going to look at knowledge check 4.4. Uh, did everybody finish this activity? Yes, I did. I did it. Yes, I did. I did it. I would like for you to. Yes, share. I did. I would like for you to share and compare your answers with your. I'm going to activate multiple participants can share simultaneously. And I would like for you to work as a group. And I would like to share your answers. Share your answers with your classmates. Check it together. And then after that, we're going to check it as a class. Any questions? When <laughs> what is the section, Mr. The King? The section is... Thank you. 4.4. 4. 4. 4. Okay. 4.4. 4. 4. Okay. Ready? Let's go. 4.4. 4. Four point four. Yes. Uh, maybe who wants to start? The first two? Mm. Before the automobile is the number one. Before the automobile. And the answer and the correct answer is people didn't travel as much from city to city. 
Mm -hmm. I have that one too. Okay. Uh, the number two, what do you have? Before there were supermarkets, people used to shop at small stores. Small stores uh, are tiendas, verdad? Tiendas. Mm. Pequeñas, tiendas. Okay, uh, our placemate, uh, Andrea, the number three. About 500 years ago, uh, people played the first game of golf. golf. Yes. Mm -hmm. Okay. Same. Item number four. In most office today, people work more than uh, for 40 hours a week. I have the same. Okay. Noe, are you there? He's listening. He's listening. Only listening. Okay. In many cities nowadays, pollution is becoming a serious problem. Yes. So soon most people are going to work at home. Home. Come on, call. The number 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 six says Andrea. Sí. Sí. Lo dije. Soon. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. Soon. Number seven. In the next hundred years, doctors might find a cure from the common cold. And the last one. Sometime in the future, there will probably be series in space. Yes. Okay, we have the same. The same, the same answer. All is correct. Uh, the A question is correct in the platform. No, Ezequiel. No, Ezequiel is here. Is he? Is a listener? All right, all right, all right. Let me have the first participant, please. Thank you, Luis. Enjoy your coffee. Uh, okay, teacher. I drink uh, the coffee of the night. <laughs> Do you like drinking coffee at night? Uh, yes, at uh, dinner. And, uh, I, can't, I, was... I can't drink. I can't drink coffee at night. I can't drink Coca Cola at night because uh. if I do, I am I am hyperactive. So if I drink coffee or Coca-Cola, oh my God, I cannot sleep. So I have to drink water. Water. Yeah. <laughs> crystal, crystal water. <laughs> yeah. Commercial. Yeah. Go ahead. Yeah. And in the night, I like the coffee every day. You don't, it doesn't take away your sleep, your... It no, 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 no. Uh, I caffeine doesn't I, affect. No, I don't affect uh, to drink coffee, uh, ni Coca Cola, uh, and Coca Cola. No, uh, I, I am immune. I am very well in this. this you are you are this. immune to the caffeine. See, by the moment, by, by the moment, don't effort. <laughs> 
<laughs> okay. All right, go ahead. Number one, please, Luis. Luis, number one. Okay, teacher, uh, excuse me. Number one, um, before the automobile, um, people didn't travel as much from city to city. For the automobile, people didn't travel as much from city to city. Okay, before the automobile, people used to. Oh, people didn't travel as much. People didn't travel city to as city much. Perfect. 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 Yeah. Please, thank you. Okay. Number two, Vincent. 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 Okay. Before there were supermarkets, people used to shop at small stores. Perfect. People used to shop at, repeat, stores. 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 Very good. People used to shop at small stores. Thank you. So, Number three, okay. Claudia. About 500 years ago, people played the first game of golf. Very good. People played the first game of golf. Number four, Jennifer. Um, In most office today, people work more than 40 hours a, a week. Excellent. Number five, Eugenio. In many cities, no way. Uh, <laughs> I do not remember that. <laughs> can somebody help <laughs> Eugenio? Can somebody help Eugenio? The second one. Uh, pollution, pollution is becoming a serious yes. problem. Pollution. Pollution. Is becoming a serious problem. Good, good. Yes. In May. No, in many, in so much cities. In oh. all cities, right? Yeah, that's a big issue. All right, number six, please. Uh, Ada. Soon, most people are going to work at home. Yeah. Most people are going to work at home. Like, like Mr. Santos, I work at home all day. Number seven, Maria. Uh, in, the ne in the next hundred years, doctors might find a cure for the common cold. Doctors might find a cure for the common cold. Number eight, Sarai. Sometime in the future, and there will probably be cities in space. There will probably be cities in space. Excellent. Ding, ding, ding. That is correct. Good job, everybody. <laughs> All right. At this moment, do you guys have any questions about this topic? Uh, questions about the vocabulary? Questions about the pronunciation? About this? Anybody? I have a question about the exercise. Yes, Claudia. Is there more than one correct answer? Yes. For example. Yes. Okay. Yes. It's subjective. Okay. It's, oh, okay. Maria was this dog. What's up, boy? <laughs> <laughs> What's his name? Yeah, his name is, is Brownie. Oh, Brownie, you're so handsome, boy. You're such a big boy. <laughs> I love big dogs. I hate little Me dogs. Too. Yeah, I hate. Do you have any? Dogs. Huh? Do I you have, have any big dog? I have two Rockweilers. Oh, my <laughs> God. Yeah. Nobody. That's terrible. 
Yeah. Nobody walk around your house. Oh no. Oh no. They see me. <laughs> they say, uh oh. <laughs> All right, uh, guys, it's time to take the attendance. So when I call your name, please say present. Okay. Okay. Ready? Ada. Ada. Me le sirve el micrófono, pero okay. ahí está. Ada is present. Alicia. Present, teacher. Excellent, Alicia. Present, sir. Thank you, Ada. Anna. El sorry, sorry. Elizabeth. <laughs> I'm present. Okay, thank you. Thank you. <laughs> Andrea. Here. Thank you, Andrea. Brenda. It's me. Good, Brenda. Cecilio. Present, Master. Thank you, Cecilio. Claudia. Present. Awesome. Edgar. Present, teacher. Very good. <laughs> Eugenio. Present, Mr. <laughs> Giovanni. <laughs> okay, vamos a poner a Alicia en silencio porque todo se la escucha ahí. Gracias, Alicia. Va a hincarse allí, le dijo. ¡Ja! <laughs> you are not in class. Hey, when I was a little boy, my grandfather one time he put me in caldo with salt. Really? Yeah. With a little, little, uh, <laughs> little seeds. Is it How do you say it? It was inhuman. Huh? It was inhuman. <laughs> <laughs> All right, Giovanni. That was very common. Yeah, I didn't like it. Giovanni is absent. Jennifer. Present teacher. Thank you. Juan. Present teacher. Very good. Lenin. Present teacher. Excellent. Lorena. Lorena. I'm here. I'm here, teacher. Sorry. Thank you. Luis. Lucky. Present teacher. I am here. Excellent. Noe. Noe. Present teacher. Very good. Norma. Norma. Norma is absent. In the chat, present. Oh. oh, okay. Thank you, Norma. Oh, Olivia. Present. Present. Give me one second. All right. So Olivia is present. Uh, let me have... Oscar, Olivia is present. Present teacher. All right. Oscar is present. Uh, let me see. Sandra. Sandra says present in chat. 
All right, present in the chat. Sarai. Present teacher. Excellent. Vicente. And the last one. Good job. Vicente. Good present. Job. All right. <laughs> Thank you. Okay, guys. You had good attendance today. Yes. Me mencionó. Es que se me cayó el teléfono en ese momento, creo. Yeah, Maria Jose is present. Okay. Okay, thank you. Let me see, Maria Jose. Yeah, Maria Jose, present. Yeah, present. Mm -hmm. All right. Let's continue, ladies and gentlemen. We're going to look at the next activity. Noe, you appeared. Nice to meet you. How are you? <laughs> It's the first time I see you. <laughs> All right, 4.5, lesson objective. In this class, you will notice and practice intonation in statements beginning with a time phrase. Also, at the end of the class, you will have time to practice and personalize phrases using different tenses. En esta clase se darán cuenta y practicarán entonación en oraciones al principio. De la frase de tiempo, también al final de la misma tendrán tiempo para practicar y personalizar frases usando diferentes tiempos verbales. Pronunciation, intonation in statements with time phrases. Ready to work on pronunciation? Notice the intonation in these statements beginning with a time phrase. Pronunciation. Intonation in statements with time phrases. Part A. Listen and practice. Notice the intonation in these statements beginning with a time phrase. In the past, very few people used computers. Today, People use computers all the time. In the future, there will be a computer in every home. Can you now complete these statements with your own information? Read the statements to your teacher. As a child, I used to. Two years ago, I. In five years, I. Did everybody notice the intonation? It's like pronunciation or the voice. That is correct. Voice goes, voice that, goes up and goes down. That's right, that's right, that's how it is. All right, let's go ahead and look at the next practice. It's going to be developing skills for listening. Skills for listening. Listen to people discuss changes. Check the topic each person talks about. One. How long have you been living here? Oh, for over 20 years. And have you noticed a lot of changes during that time? Oh, yes, quite a few. This is a much nicer place to live now than it used to be. It's much greener. When I first moved here, there weren't many trees around. But over the last few years, the city has planted trees everywhere. It's made such a difference. Two. How do you like living here? Well, it's an interesting city. But you really need a car here. Otherwise, you can't go anywhere. There used to be a good bus system, but there isn't anymore. Why is that? Oh, well, I think they expect everyone to have a car, so they don't bother to provide decent bus service. It's getting worse and worse. These days, you have to wait for ages for a bus, and when one finally shows up, it's usually full. Three. I can't believe how much this neighborhood has changed. What do you mean? Well, when Joe and I first bought this house, that was almost 20 years ago, of course, there were lots of young couples with children living on this street. I don't see any kids out today. That's because they've all grown up and moved out of their parents' houses. 
Just about the only young children we see around here these days are the grandchildren when they come to visit. It's a shame. I miss the sounds of kids playing. It's gotten way too quiet around here. Page 60. Exercise 5. Part B. Listen again. Write down the change and if things are better or worse now. 1. How long have you been living here? Oh, for over 20 years. And have you noticed a lot of changes during that time? Oh, yes, quite a few. This is a much nicer place to live now than it used to be. It's much greener. When I first moved here, there weren't many trees around. But over the last few years, the city has planted trees everywhere. It's made such a difference. Two. How do you like living here? Well, it's an interesting city, but you really need a car here. Otherwise, you can't go anywhere. There used to be a good bus system, but there isn't anymore. Why is that? Oh, I think they expect everyone to have a car, so they don't bother to provide decent bus service. It's getting worse and worse. These days, you have to wait for ages for a bus, and when one finally shows up, it's usually full. Three. I can't believe how much this neighborhood has changed. What do you mean? Well, when Joe and I first bought this house, that was almost 20 years ago, of course, there were lots of young couples with children living on this street. I don't see any kids out today. That's because they've all grown up and moved out of their parents' houses. Just about the only young children we see around here these days are the grandchildren when they come to visit. It's a shame. I miss the sounds of kids playing. It's gotten way too quiet around here. All right, let's look at the first one. Number one says woman, population, transportation, families, environment, and cities. Cities. And shopping, what's your answer? For me, environment. Environment. Yes. Your answer is environment. Yes. yes. They were one. talking about environment. Okay. So we're going to have environment. All right. What about number two? Man. Transportation. 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 Good, good. Transportation too. Number three. Woman. Uh, uh, family. About our families. families. Number three. Family. Correct. Yeah. Ooh. Correct. Good job. Good job. Ding 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 ding. Ding 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 ding. Any questions about ding. this activity? An applause. An applause. <laughs> applause ding, 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 ding. for everybody. <laughs> we're gonna give you, we're gonna give you some virtual applause. <laughs> Excellent. Ding ding ding. <laughs> <laughs> All right, let's look at, we got five minutes. We have time for one more activity, which is conditional right. statements with if. Hi, we're about to study conditional sentences. A conditional sentence is formed by a possible situation and a consequence. Pay attention to the audio program for more explanation. Conditional sentences with if clauses. Possible situation plus simple present. If you get a high paying job, consequence plus future with will, may. Se me olvidó, dice que se la presté en un chero para que terminara su proyecto. If you get a high paying job, you won't have to work as hard. If you don't have to work as hard, you'll have a lot more free time. If you have a lot more free time, you might get bored. If you get bored, 
You may have to look for another job. The first conditional is a structured used for talking about possibilities in the present or the future. We will explain you how this conditional is formed and when it is used. When we talk about this conditional, which is called first conditional, by the way, we will divide it in two parts, if clause and main clause. In conditional, we use the word if. So we say, if I study, I will pass my exam. Follow me in the structure, if clause, if plus subject plus verb in simple present. Main clause, subject plus will plus verb. Let's work on more examples. If you save money, you will go on a trip. If she speaks English, she will have a better job. If we exercise, we will be healthy. All of these examples show a possibility of what might happen if. I will give you some possible situations. Try to give me your consequence using the structure learned. Don't forget to write them on our discussion box. If you study English, if you lose your job, if you have children, don't forget to write your consequence using the future will, may, or might. If I were a millionaire. <laughs> if I were a millionaire, I would put a I wouldn't over. work. Huh? What would you do? I wouldn't work. You wouldn't work? You're going to get bored? <laughs> Probably, probably, I wouldn't work. What What would you do with your time? <laughs> what? What What would you do with your time? Uh, my time? Huh? Um. Sorry, I under I I don't understand what. Oh, you said, if I am a millionaire, I wouldn't work. So my question is, if you wouldn't work, what would you do with your time? ¿Qué haría con su tiempo? Oh, <laughs> uh, maybe can be a travel or on a trip. <laughs> to another country. Yes. <laughs> okay. Okay. If a dream is a dream, if you like. <laughs> it's a possible, it's a possible dream because mm -hmm. number, number one, technology. Opens yes, maybe. Doors. Number two, English opens many doors. <laughs> so it's a dream very high. <laughs> no excuses. Nowadays, it's no excuses. Yes. You speak English and you have a laptop. The world is oh. in your fingers. Uh, I, I, I worry the change in my life. <laughs> <laughs> All right. But I try, I try. Okay, thank you, Brenda. All right, guys, let's look at the activity. Uh, for this activity, what we're going to do is I would like for you to give me some examples. You're going to give me some examples over here in the discussion forum. I want you to give me at least five examples. And I want you to write the examples on the discussion forums. For example, if I, if I spoke English, I would travel to Miami. If I were a millionaire, I would have... 10 businesses. If I speak English well, I'm going to be an English teacher. Yeah. <laughs> Easy Excellent. money. Easy money. Easy. <laughs> Easy In money. My cake. A piece of cake. Piece of cake. In my place, guys. Easy as one, a pie. One day I was learning. Dinner for one day. Only one day? But, Why only one day? I don't can sleep, but now it's new. Okay, all right. All right, guys, uh, time is up. Time is up. I got to let you go. I got another class I got to get ready for. 
Uh, please continue working on the platform, continue moving forward on the activities, do your homework. Remember that um, they are supervising the class every day, supervising the video, supervising the attendance, supervising the platform. So please uh, continue moving forward and do your best. We will see okay. you tomorrow. Good night. See you tomorrow. See you tomorrow. Good night. See you tomorrow. Bye. Bye. Have a good night. Good night to all. Bye. Aquí está See you. Horrible. Okay, good. No, not good. I don't like it. <laughs> <laughs> the, the, the streets need water. I don't like it. Okay, good night. Bye. Bye. Good night.